Come again, this is part number two on language at lesson of today for third grade. So, we were on page 26, and now we're solving the exercise letter D, the one that goes like, solve the math problems, write the answers in words. So, once again, we're using numerals and text. Okay, exercise number one, Jeremy, Jack, and John all want to buy a video game console. They decide they will put all their money together. Jeremy has $223, Jack has $165, and John has $89. How much do they have together? Hmm, what do we have to do here? Okay, the exercise requires we do... Oh, 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 no, I'm reading the answer. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Okay. Men in black. I'm flashing you and I delete your brain. Your memories. Okay, here we go. Um, so what do we have to do? Okay. How much money they have together? We need to see how much money Jeremy, Jack and John have together to buy the, the video game console. What are they buying? Are they buying a Nintendo Switch? Or an Xbox? Or a PlayStation? Who knows? Thing here is that we need to know how much, how much money? How much money, fellas? So what do we need to do? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? Hmm. I think it's, since we want to know how much money they have in total, uh, we obviously need to do addition. So that's what we're doing. We're adding 223 plus 165 plus 89 dollars. Okay? Take a few seconds and do the addition on your own. Okay? Okay, take like 20 seconds and do it. Okay? Are you doing it? Are you doing 3 plus 5 plus 8 plus 9? which equals 17, and you write the seven, but keep away the one. Are you doing that? Okay, you probably need paper for that. Because mind math, mental math, might be tricky here. Okay, you, you're probably done by now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write the answer only in text. Only in text. So here it goes. Four hundred seventy-seven dollars. That's what these kids or people they have in total. Four hundred seventy-seven dollars. I hope you understand because I want you to do number two on your own. It's another paragraph problem, and you're gonna do it alone. It goes like this. Check this out. Number two. Kristen has one hundred dollars. But, uh, okay, I had a little mistake. I corrected it. So, Kristen has $100, but she owes money to her sisters. She owes one sister $25. And she owes another sister $46. How much money remains? Hmm. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? We know we're talking about Kristen and she has $100. But she needs to give money to her sisters. 25 to one sister and 46 to the other sister. So this money has to be taken from the $100. So, the obvious operation here has to be subtraction, subtraction, resta, sustracción, subtraction. So, it's going to be 100 minus 46 minus 25, or 100 minus 25 minus 46. It's easier if you do it this way, 100 minus 46 minus 25. Okay, take some time and do it. Take 20 seconds and do that easy subtraction. Okay, it's gonna be really easy. 
Remember, my focus is not really on enhancing your math skills, but your language skills. So that's why I'm not too interested in giving you too much time to solve this. So I need some quick math. All right, by now everybody should be finished. So let me display the answer. Answer should have been $29. That's all she gets. That's all, that's all that remains after she pays her debt to her sisters. Only $29. $29. All right, kids. We're done with page 26. We're going to move on. Next page is going to be page 27. This one. Okay, be ready. Meanwhile, we switch to the, to the third part of the video. Okay, be ready. And check on the next part of this video.